After last night's win, the Vegas Golden Knights are officially three wins away from the Stanley Cup in only their sixth season. I mean, I know that Bill Foley came out and said that that's the standard, but trust me, it's not. I mean, you you guys don't even need me to bring it up. How many teams in this league have gone lifetimes without winning? And what started out as the Golden Misfits, right? Uh, the expansion draft with a bunch of guys that nobody wanted, that they pretty much gift-wrapped to the Vegas Golden Knights. Now, I mean, the trades they've made to get guys like Mark Stone, Jack Eichel, and the signings like Alex Petrangelo, and dumping some of their original faces of the franchise, I'm looking at you, Marc-Andre Fleury, it's a very different team, and even a different franchise than what it was when they started in 2017. But one dude that I respect so much in this whole thing is Bill Foley. Bill Foley, from the very beginning, ever since, even before he got his franchise, he's like, I want to bring a team to Vegas, it's going to be successful. It's going to be a great hockey market, and I'm going to win a Stanley Cup, get this, within six years of its existence. And a lot of people laughed in this guy's face for all of those things. Oh, Vegas won't work as a hockey market. It's all tourists, bachelor parties, and casino lovers. It'll never happen. Forget it. It's going to be a flop. It's going to be the next Arizona Coyotes. And then when he mentioned playoffs in three years and Stanley Cup in six, man, did everybody laugh. Because in expansion drafts in the past in the NHL, looking at teams like the Minnesota Wild, the Columbus Blue Jackets, the Ottawa Senators, the Washington Capitals, which, hey, when they started out, they were one of the worst teams that league has ever seen, it's definitely not been that quick of a turnaround for expansion teams in the league's past. So when he said Stanley Cup in six, pretty much everybody was cackling in this dude's face. I mean, get real, Bill. You're going to get everybody's scraps. You're not going to get any good players. You're just going to get garbage from other teams that they don't want. And you're really going to build a contender with that within six years? Come on. And look, I'm fully aware that with the new NHL expansion rules made for the Vegas expansion draft, it very well allowed George McPhee and the Golden Knights brass to go full Captain Phillips. I am the captain now with all 30 other NHL teams for that draft. They poached some players real good there because of those new rules. They took advantage of them. But still, if you're an expansion team, it's just going to be tough by definition when you're coming into a league with 30 other teams who are already established and they somehow went all the way to the final in their first year there and now they're going all the way to the final again in year six, fulfilling the prophecy potentially of Bill Foley and I'll tell you what, nobody's laughing now. And even when this team was unveiled and they showed off the name and the logo and they had the fireworks going with the announcer who basically didn't even know what he was saying, that was hilariously messed up and it, it did not look great at all. I remember watching that in school when he was like, Vegas, Golden Knights! And my, me and my friends just died laughing. It was so funny. We're like, wow, this team is going to be an absolute joke. And they came in and manhandled my Calgary Flames in every game that we played against them pretty much that first year and pretty much since. I mean, I know there's been a couple of Flames wins there, but for all intents and purposes, the Golden Knights have owned the Flames for their entire existence. And I can assure you, I'm not laughing at them anymore. So it's just crazy to think how far they've come. And hey, you can tell me all you want about how it's rigged and Gary wants them to win or whatever you want to say. The fact is, they very well could have a Stanley Cup after this year and nobody would have predicted Bill Foley to actually be correct in his two predictions. He was. And it's honestly pretty cool to see. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.